Safari has some nifty tricks to help maximize your online experience. You can use tab browsing to cut down on window clutter, block pop-up windows, make widgets out of websites, and have Safari automatically fill in your personal information when you're making online purchases. Let's take a look at some of the things you can do in Safari. Click on Safari in the dock or in the application window. First of all, let's take a look at adding bookmarks. If you frequently visit certain websites or, or web pages, bookmark its location so you can return to it easily. To bookmark a site or a web page that you're currently visiting, choose Add Bookmark from the Bookmarks menu. Bookmarks, Add Bookmark. Type in the name of your bookmark and you can then decide to add it to the bookmark bar which will appear right here. Or you can subsequently create a folder and put it into News or Most Popular. Click Add and now it appears just here. Using Tab Browsing. With Tab Browsing in Safari, you can open and switch between multiple web pages in a single window. You can simply drag and drop your tabs to rearrange them, open one in the new browser window, or merge all of your current windows into one tab window. Safari will resize each tab depending on the number you have. To do so, you can click on the Command key, also known as the Apple key, which is the key left of the spacebar, and T. Now you can click on the new site from your bookmarks. You can click back to your Apple one, back over to Yahoo, click and rearrange, even take the Apple one, drag it away and let go and you now have a new window and you can have multiple windows if you so wish. Close Yahoo down and I'll leave the Apple one open. If you want to create a new tab, you can also do it via URLs. For example, here is a link in a web page. If I would like to go to this web page without creating a new window, again click on the command key. That's the one to the left of the spacebar, also known as the Apple key. Click, keep your finger on the command key, and the new link will open up in a new tab for you to view. In this case, we've opened the one about business theater and hot news. If you want to stop block up windows, some websites feature block up windows that open automatically when you visit them. Some sites use pop up windows to display ads, some of which can be objectionable material, depending on the type of website you visit. Other sites use pop up windows to display more information about a selected item, or as a way for you to navigate to other areas on the site. You can choose whether you want a block up window to happen or not to happen. If you want to keep unwanted advertisements from clustering up your desktop, you are best to block them. From the Safari menu, click on Safari, click on Block Up Windows, and automatically as you see here, it's already checked. If I uncheck it, Safari will not automatically block up pop-up windows. By clicking on it, it'll block pop-up windows. If you want to navigate to a new site yourself, type in the, in the, in the URL box. Type it in where you want to go, press the enter key, and you've now navigated to Google. 